University of St. Thomas is in the process of preparing itself for its brand new Division One conferences. Most of its competition outside of football, women's hockey, men's hockey, all be done in the Summit League. It's a great fit, but there is work to do. Yeah, from an outside looking in perspective, it's, it felt like this kind of had to move pretty quickly as far as getting inv invited to uh, these, these conferences. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say that it's moved very quickly. You know, 14 months ago, um, we learned of our fate in the Mayak, and within just over a year's time, uh, not only have we um, engaged in conversations with several different conferences, we've worked with the NCAA uh, to do something that's really unprecedented. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the fact that we've worked as quickly as we did. I think certainly our institutional profile helped to expedite that a little bit. I think the unprecedented circumstances have helped to expedite that a little bit. Um, great partners with the commissioners of the, of the conferences with, with, with whom we're working um, have helped to expedite that. Uh, as well, and the fact that we had a time frame. You know, by next summer we had to find a place to go. Uh, and so that um, timetable certainly helped to push this along as well. How do you anticipate going about building or growing the fan base here? Well, you know, again, as, I, as I've said, the Twin Cities and, and the state of Minnesota really supports their sports, their, their local sports, whether it's high school, college, or professional sports. They get behind their sports, and, and, I, and I would like to believe that this is something our community is going to get behind. We've got 110,000 alumni, most of which live in the Twin Cities area. Um, and so I've got, a, I've got high expectations that, that we'll have a lot of engagement from fans. Um, and not just, not just on campus as we travel, I'd like to see our fans travel with us as well. Have you all had or do you anticipate any sort of logistical problems as far as the transition goes? One thing that college athletics offers is a very uh, cooperative spirit, uh, collegial spirit. And so certainly there's a lot of thought sharing um, that happens between colleagues at all levels. And so I do expect uh, that over time we'll, we'll share, some, share some thoughts, share some best practices. We certainly want to compete uh, on the gridiron or on the court or on the field or the pool or the track or the ice. Um, but, but when it comes to the business, it, it, it's only uh, beneficial if all of us are successful. So obviously the geographic fit is one thing, but how else do the Tommies fit into the Summit League? It's a Division I profile. You have 10,000 students, your graduate programs are healthy. Uh, that really catches your eye. And then obviously, you know, uh, the winning culture, you know, is attractive as well. And so you, you put all of that together uh, and the proximity to our members uh, we felt was just just the right fit. We've been wanting to get in the Minnesota market uh, for our brand, and uh, now we're able to do that. So now both Twin Cities have Division I athletics, and Aaron, it'll be interesting to see how this develops over the next uh, well, few years, honestly. Yeah, it's exciting for longtime fans oh, as yeah. well, Norman. All right, thank you.